I'm really pleased to welcome back again Nasser Hussain, um, a poet whose work has been described as, quote, hip-hop without the beat or rhymes, not least by us on the Facebook page. And, <laughs> <laughs> and his collection, Bold Face, has recently been published by Burning Eye Press, and you can get a copy over on the merch table, and I understand there's some sort of bartering process that you're willing to engage sliding in. Scale. Yeah, sliding scale. So make Nasser an offer, and um, you can get one of... Um, one of his copies of Ballface. So um, thank you very much, Nasa, and please welcome onto the stage. Woo -hoo! Yeah! My heart is brown. This is called How to Be Brown Now. When they first taught me to read poetry, the first line they showed me was, How now, brown cow? Oh, she was a sweet little cow, soft as a chocolate in my pocket, brown as my fingers in October. But more than poems, school taught me a lot. Like how to fail at being smooth. Like how to play with just one friend. Like how to keep a broken heart unseen. Like how to say I have a dream. But the big lesson I learned was how to Bruce Banner, the, brig, the big green jihadi in me. <laughs> My parents learned quick, too, stuffed my mother tongue in a box and thought as they taught me to wear polo shirts, blue jeans, and rock a Walkman down the block that they did their job, and I'd blend in, and whatever it was that was blocking them from a life of liberty would stop in me. Now, that's a heavy responsibility when you are 13. I was to be a doctor, a lawyer, a pillar of the community, but I couldn't stop thinking of Little Brown Bessie. Couldn't stop thinking of poetry, so I became a teacher, tried to show the things I see. But it turns out I'm just earning while I'm learning. The student is still me. And I learned the other day on Fox TV that 25% of Muslims still yearn to end democracy. That apparently one in four of kin with my skin would die willingly bombs strapped to their chins. And I need to ask myself, after 40 years of living naturally, how should I be brown now? How should I sit on a plane? How should I return the soup but appear not to complain? Be emphatic but not radical. Myself focus, not scatterable. A protest for real, not a whistle that's been kettled. Mild mannered always but never ever cattle. Matter of fact, I'm done chewing this cut. I got weapons of mass instruction and I'm redefining scud. Now it means supersonic cows uplift the dumb. They taught me to read poems for a month. I, I become one. So someone stop me before I let loose the revelations. If knowledge is power, then ignorance is our secret weapon for salvation. Oh man, I finally think I got the answer to that burning farmyard question. I'm going to meet microaggressions with macro understanding. I'm going to somersault in job interviews and stick that fucking landing. I'm going to work so hard for what I want no matter what in my way is standing and when I'm and when I work I'm going to subvert well, whoever the fuck thinks they're commanding cuz no stable can hold me. There's no more pointless ruminating cuz I'm a mad rust-colored minotaur and I'm abandoning this labyrinth. See? I <laughs>